Hello everyone and welcome to once more yet another very exciting edition on this um, channel. You're very welcome. If it's your first time, please hit like and subscribe. Make sure you share this video. We talk a lot about medical stuff, schools, internationals. It's really an educational platform where you can learn a lot. So today we're going to be talking about something very important because um, there is a common slogan that says that health is well and we know that once you're healthy you can be able to do every other thing but once you're sick and you're hospitalized it's quite hard so what happens if you fall sick and you find yourself in japan so if you want to know more on what to do where to go or who to see and who to talk to please stay tuned Before we continue on this video, I'd like you to hit unsubscribe um, and please share this video to all your friends, share this video to those who you think will visit Japan one day or who are living in Japan and they don't know what to do when they're at sick and at home. Um, follow this information strictly. There's numbers, there's people who can speak um, multi languages. They can support you in every bit of way that you might possibly think. So please follow with me on the website as I run you through it and um, you will get all the information that you need. Um, thank you very much. Japan is the world's power um, in terms of technology and it's the third in terms of economy according to the ranking as we all know and that is one thing that we know. One other very famous and most important thing that we know about Japan is that it is a country that has the longest life expectancy on earth. You know that. Um, according to statistics you can google that by yourself and you'll see it um, for women and for men it's in between 85 and 90 years so that's very long um or rather say 80 90 that's very long you know compared to other um western and developed countries so if um you want that kind of lifestyle and you know and you want to know why japan has that kind of opportunities you have to use their health systems they have one of the best in the world um in japan when we have hospitals whose capacity of beds is less than 20 so 19 and below those are called clinics and when it's over 20 uh, bed capacity they are called hospitals so in japan total i'm sorry this is a little bit old data but as of 2018 the statistics were that we had about 8480 bed facilities so these are hospitals so 8000 um, 480 hospitals in Japan and for clinics we have 7,000 for clinics we had 7,961 inpatient medical clinics and for um, outpatients we had 93,034 outpatient bed clinics and we had um, 68,000 737 so 68,737 um, dental unit services so you can actually benefit from this so once you're in Japan and you're a foreigner there is um, what you can do is visit a very famous website to get um, if you can't speak Japanese of course to get a medical doctor that can assist you with um, English or any other language just this more Thai languages that can actually support you and there's a district translator in the worst case scenario you know where the physician or the practicing physician cannot express themselves in the language that you understand of course we all know that medicine and medical information is very confidential so if you're sick i want to see a doctor let's say you have an sti or something you know you don't want anyone to know you know you don't want to go with a translator who in quotes can you know just give your information out so you want to visit the center so i'm gonna rush you through the website and you'll literally see it by yourself what you can do if you're in japan and you need um, a medical doctor it's quite easy okay so you come to this official website for um the japan national tourism organization it's it's very famous it's it's in english but you can change it to many other languages as you can see here so it's english and um, so unfortunately we have just Chinese, um, we have English, we have Japanese, we have Korean 
and Mandarin so you can change that to any of those languages of course um, these doctors can speak other languages so you go through their website and depending on the city where you are and the kind of symptoms that you can have you can enter them here so you can search by institution or um, um, you can search by symptoms and treatment and um, hospitals that cover travel insurance okay so it's a pretty you know short website so um, you know there is other information in other languages as you can see here that you can you can actually get and read for yourself so um, and as you can see your language quotes that are being used on, on this website so it's pretty easy um, if you want to search by institution, say you've come to Japan for my case, um, say you travel from the US and you're here in Japan and you're in Kanagawa, I live in Yokohama. So in Yokohama, it's in Kanagawa prefecture. So um, you want to come right here and you just click in Kanagawa and um, you can just either push on search, it's going to give you clinics with doctors that can you know literally speaking English you can just push uh, push on search as this and then you see it's it's a very huge list look at right here so you can see it's a very it's a very long list of, of doctors who can actually speak in English and they can support you and so once you come here um, the the departments that are here and the doctors that can support you they're here um, so you can choose those uh, the kind of languages that they can speak are here you know if it's a neurosurgeon they can support you in any of these languages remember i showed you the quotes earlier before so um, i'm just gonna show you again um one other way that you can you can um, do this um, just pushing back here i'm just gonna quickly um, refresh this page and um so if you want to search by let's say symptoms all right you can search by symptoms as well or you can search by institution use here depending on on actually what you want so there is there's many possibilities of ways that you can search but generally you can get this information um via this website um that i'm gonna put in the in the description box below for you so that you can you can have it and you can use letters so you can just literally push like that and then you know it's this first one and then here you are you know and you can you know select the perfect choice as I said before and so that's pretty easy and on this website you can then go into um, So in any of these websites, you can then just push here and you go to the website it's an, and here it's going to indicate to you if the website is going to be in English or not and um, for the most part of it, they have a phone number that you can literally call. This is the address and you can push here to get um, directly the maps that link you to um, where those hospitals are. Um, yeah, and you can usually literally always get um, a translation of of the maps and, and, and where those places are, are actually found. So it's quite easy. Um, there is a contact number. All of these are uh, fairly available and there's a time also that they are available that they can answer your calls here. So it's very, it's easy. So that's about it. So if you want to see a medical doctor in Japan and you don't know what to do or where to go, you can just do as i have shown and it's gonna be pretty easy for you okay thank you very much for subscribing please like this video share it to your friends who you think need medical services and i'm gonna see you in the next video until then thank you and bye bye